Okay, everybody. This is the newest acquisition to the Vault Explorer's arsenal. This is the 2007 Yamaha VMAX, the VMX 1200. Now, immediately the problem that I have with this bike, and I'm not sure if it's a notorious uh, malfunction, but it was overheating when I was sitting in traffic. So if you can see that your temperature gauge starts to rise, while you're sitting in traffic, if you just see this thing start to climb up, but you do not hear the jet engine fan that's behind the radiator. If you do not hear that, it's probably because, you know, one of a couple things. And I'm going to show you two of the things that I looked over before uh, ordering any kind of parts or stripping this whole bike down. So... The first thing that I checked was the, uh, the, the, the plug right here for the fan. I unplugged it, scrubbed out, or I sprayed the terminals with uh, QD spray and plugged it back in, got the bike up to temperature and that didn't do the trick. Unplugged it again, put power to the fan and then realized that I do have power to the fan. It wasn't gonna be the purchase of a new or used fan. Without stripping this down too much, all you need to do is take off the faux gas tank. Remove your two hex screws. Remove your faux air vents. These are, these are not functional, but they do look pretty damn cool. You're going to just simply pop off this plastic cover here. And right here is your fan switch. So the only thing that I did, I just unplugged it. Sprayed the QD electrical spray in there. Sprayed some right on. Hit it with the wire brush. Plugged it back in and it was working perfectly. So, like I said before, with other things that you buy, when you buy a motorcycle, car, scooter, or a skateboard, you're gonna you're gonna find things are gonna be wrong with it, especially if it's new and 10, 20 years old. So before you go stripping down, start at you know start at the problem there before you start trying to break all this stuff down. Uh, a good thing about that I find already with this VMAX is it's it, it may look very complicated, but it's very simple to work on once you've you know taken start taking things apart because i have taken it down already and that's it i hope that helped if you were having that kind of problem and thanks for watching we'll see you next time that's what it's going to sound like with the engine on but you know it's working temp gauge isn't creeping up into the red it's going to creep up high before it kicks on so don't get too nervous so that's about the mark and here's what it sounds like with the engine off and cool pretty pretty noticeable hope this helps